Hey, welcome to Easy Nursing. This is the channel that's dedicated to making NCLEX reviews, general nursing tips, and practice questions. Today we're going to be doing practice questions about acid-base balance. And this is going to be kind of the basis uh, as far as finding out if you got a pH, uh, carbon dioxide, and bicarbonate, how do you know what that disorder is? Or if you know what problem the patient has, how can you anticipate what the disorder will become? So let's take a look at this question. This is an easy one. It uh, looks like we're given an ABG and we need to find out what uh, disorder it is, whether it's respiratory metabolic and whether it's alkalosis or acidosis. So what I would anticipate, you see a question like this, first thing you should do is write this on your, uh, on your test, or you can even write this in the top front page as soon as you get your test. So we see uh, acidic, that's going to be pH 7.35 or lower and if, uh, alkalotic or basic would be 7.45 or higher. We see carbon dioxide, the more you have, the more acidic. Carbon dioxide, carbon diacid. And so inversely, a low CO2 would be alkalotic. And bicarb, you can see that low levels are acidic. And when you have enough and you have high or two high levels, it's basic, it helps absorb those acids. All right, so let's take a look at this problem one more time we see a pH of 7.55. So that's symbolizing something basic. CO2 of 40, so that's right here in the middle. And we have a bicarb of 30. So what matches the pH? Well, here's the pH. We know without a doubt it's gonna be alkalotic. So we can go ahead and cross these out. What matches? It looks like it is the bicarb. Bicarb is metabolic. So we have metabolic alkalosis as our answer. All right, let's move on to the next question. So you're the an ER nurse and you're receiving a report from EMS. You have a patient that was stabbed in the thorax. They do a chest x-ray and reveal the patient has a pneumothorax. So this is pneumo, which is air, around the thorax. So you have air around the lungs, okay? So which ABG finding would we anticipate? All right, so this patient has respiratory issues, pneumothorax here. So we're anticipating them to have a respiratory issue um, and we're expecting, if you have respiratory issues, a high CO2 because they're not able to breathe effectively, they're gonna be holding on to CO2. So we're gonna be looking at ones here that have a high CO2. So let's see, what's the normal CO2? Well, we wrote this in the beginning of our test and it looks like a high CO2 would be uh, 45 or greater and we're gonna anticipate that, that since that's gonna be the problem, you can see that is the acidic side. So we're also gonna expect some acidosis. So let's take a look. We want uh, CO2 45 or greater. Nope, nope, nope. Here we go. We have a high CO2. Now let's see if it matches. We wanna see them being acidic. Well, here we have the low pH. As far as the bicarb, we can expect it to be normal or leaning in the opposite direction because here we have a high pH, uh, high CO2, high pH. So this can either be normal or this can be compensating, trying to fix the problem. But here you can see that D will be our answer for this pneumothorax patient. All right, we got one more. The nurse understands that a patient with persistent vomiting is at risk for developing which acid base disorder? All right, so the patient is vomiting. So what's in your vomit? You've got hydrochloric acid. So they're losing acid. So this tells us that the patient is gonna be losing acid, so that risk for being alkalotic. So it's not gonna be either of these. So we wanna see something alkalotic. Now, it says that he is vomiting and that doesn't have to do with the respiratory system. So what we'll see here is metabolic alkalosis. Now, with a question like this, you don't wanna to look too into it. Of course, this patient could be aspirating, but it's just talking about vomiting here. What does the vomiting put him at risk for? Alkalosis and it's not respiratory in origin. So the answer is gonna be B. All right, everyone, that is a couple practice questions about ABGs. Now, I also have a video that goes in detail over each disorder and explains uh, how you can determine 
how these disorders are treated, uh, what the patient will look like. So go ahead and take a look at those and please like and subscribe to my channel.